<laughs> shit sound like double O seven my N sixty four shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. And Trinidad James is in the motherfucking building. What hey. up, homie? What's up, boss? You good? Grinding, man. Grinding, man. How I feel, man. Like. I mean, well, you, you tell everybody the story, like, everybody wants to know, like, where this guy come from, so I don't want to tell the story. You just tell everybody, like, where the hell you come from? It seemed like we woke up one day and looked on World Star, and that was it. Yeah, came from my mom. Nah, I'm just playing, man. Nah, I mean, just in general, man. I'm a regular dude, man. I just got a big fan of music, and I decided this year to do my own music. Right. And so, I mean, if you're in Atlanta, you know I used to run the boutique downtown on top of the underground. Right. I would have, you know, shop, come shop, everybody shop with me. Yeah, definitely. And so now, I mean, I just, you know, I do music. Uh, I just did it the right way. That's you know? So, how long have you been doing music? Because I've been hearing different things. Um, uh, let's say about 10 months. About 10 months. About 10 months. You know people wait 10 years to get a hit like you. Nah, I ain't got nothing to say about that. <laughs> I just do what I do and I keep moving. Is this something that like maybe was hereditary, like genetic or something like that? Like was anybody in your family a musician? Like is it in your blood or is it just something that you just decided one day like I'm gonna just put my flavor into the sound and do what I do? Um, I just do what I do, bro. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I just serious about my shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to bullshit. Like I say, I was gonna, if I'm gonna do music, I'm yeah. taking it serious as how I did the stove. Right. You know, you used to come show me. Definitely, definitely. You know how I ran the stove. So I mean, how I ran the stove, like how I run my music. I don't, yeah. I don't bullshit. Any influences? Uh, I mean, I, I listen to everybody. Everybody got a little bit to offer, so I listen to everybody. I don't like calling names because niggas right. are sensitive, but you right. know what I'm saying? I mess with everybody. Niggas are sensitive. Okay, so the other the other side of um. Uh, People news, industry news, everybody wants to know like what's your direction, what you're gonna do? Are you gonna keep it independent, gold gang? Are you in talks with labels? Is, is anything looking promising or what can we expect moving into the top of the year? Like what's gonna I be mean, the Just expect good music, man, good visuals. Like all that label stuff that is what it is or whatever, I mean, they just doing their job. Right. Or whatever. I respect I have good conversations with everybody. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just doing my own thing. But you're you know not press. Nah, for what? Definitely. I got six million views. I ain't signed the shit. Word. Word. Applaud that. Applaud that. The shows, man, you already damn near been on tour. <laughs> so what's the craziest place you've been so far? Man, it's always Atlanta, bro. I love Atlanta, Atlanta, bro. Yeah, if y'all didn't come to the show last Saturday, bro, niggas was hanging from the ceiling, nigga. Wow. Literally. Check wow. my Instagram, nigga. So how, how I feel like, I mean, I, I know it's got to be interesting, like, you know, you're in Atlanta, and of course everybody, you know, salutes you for running the boutique and shit, but now... Like you can't even ride down the street without hearing your shit pumping out in the car or on the radio and all, all that. Like, how has that affected your life and your lifestyle? I ain't changed shit. Word. I still wake up, go to sleep, shit, go see my mama. Still party Molly's. Uh, <laughs> when the party calls for it. When, when you're not, uh, you know, making that music, which I know is a very big part of your life right now, and when you're not being one of the freshest niggas in hip hop, like, what other type of shit do you do? I, I know you got a joint called Madden on GameCube on the on the. On the uh, on the tape and everything. Oh uh, well, um, man, these days, man, we're doing so much traveling. But when every some outside of music, man, going to the movies, man. The just movies. Try to do just try to do the reg- most regular shit, man. Right. I just regular shit to stay grounded. You know what I'm saying? I go by the stove. Right. See how they doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm try to hoop whenever yeah. I can hoop. A little hooping. You That's know. What's up. That's what's up. I'll let you have that one. I can't hope for shit. <laughs> uh, females. Tell us about the females. I got all the go on my phone, man. You got all the what? I got all the go, man. You got all the go? All the go, man. Just all go. The go. All the That's go. That's it. Too much go. Wow. Too much go. Wow. Did that happen like overnight? Or? Man, it just started just popping up. Started popping, 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 popping up. Popping up. Number, when I started seeing them numbers with no name, like, man, who's this here? <laughs> oh, this shot is shot from the east side. So you've been in the studio, we, we, we follow your Instagram, um, we're like Currency, T.I., you chopped it up with Diddy, you chopped it up with Ross, I'm pretty sure there's other people, like how's that whole experience been and can we look forward to music with those guys? Uh, some of them, some of them, I mean definitely like um, some people, everybody come in your life for a different reason. Right. Some for wisdom, some for music, Right. you know what I'm saying, some to show you how you don't want to act, Right. all different type of stuff, you know what I'm saying, but... I'm out here working, man. You know what I'm saying? I got some stuff on the way. You know, I done work with a few artists, you know? Mm-hmm. Pretty cool stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, like, it's work. Right. Work, man. So, your, your sense of fashion, like, what? Where did, where did that come from? Because that's the first thing, like, I think a lot of people got your CD and kind of just sat on it for a while. And right. they just looked at the cover True. like, I'm going to wait a couple of days to put this in because this cover is like no other. 
You know what I'm saying? So what, what, what inspired that? I mean, I know, like, personally shopping with you, you would try to kind of take me right field. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I just been, I've just been right field with the fashion my whole life. Right. So, so you were you like know, that in elementary school? Uh, I say nah. When I started buying my own clothes. When you start buying your own clothes? When school. I started buying my own clothes, I just, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I was with the trend, like, what everybody in high school was doing. And then I just was like, man, I'm going to go a different route, just do something else. Yeah. And just kept on carrying on. When fashion changed, I was trying to stay ahead of the game. Yeah. Especially here in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Because we tend to have, like, the same look. Like, mm -hmm. everybody got the same look. Right. Oh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I just, like, I didn't want to be associated with everybody. You know, I wanted to have my own shit. Right. Whether it was weird or not, it was me. You know what I'm saying? So now it's just, like, with all, when everybody else was looking at you, you know what I'm saying, as far as being an artist. Right. It's like, oh man, this nigga just trying, trying, trying. It's like, nigga, you can go look at my Facebook, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing my thing. You've been doing this you know what I'm saying? Like, and it, like, it wasn't always appreciated fashion. Yeah. You know, but the game done changed where like crazy dressing right. is the shit now. But you know, like already, like it hasn't been that long. You know, like niggas is already on your shit. Like niggas I mean, is growing I mean, out their hair. It niggas is what it is, man. They gotta do like you know, like somebody gotta be a leader. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, life is made of a lot of followers and somebody decided to be a leader. Word. You know what I'm saying? So, if niggas want to dress like me, hey, man, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? It ain't never going to be me, but right. it's going to be, I, I appreciate you doing that more right. than some of the other shit you've been wearing. Turning me up. That's what's up. <laughs> Who does the gold gang consist of? Uh, my managers. Okay. My managers and my homeboys. So, you know the artist? Nah, I, I don't know nobody. I like that to be like, oh, they gold gang. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just me. That's your people. I'm first person. You know what I'm saying? That's my, that's my shit, man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm real personal about my shit. Yeah. You know? But as time carry on, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You see some power moves. Word. You know? You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be no follower. You know what I'm saying? I want to have my own shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm goddamn independent, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Word. That's a beautiful thing. Being independent is a very beautiful thing, man. We salute you for coming to Hurry Rich Radio, taking that time out of your busy schedule. We definitely got to play some more of this mixtape. Oh, what, what couple joints you want to hear, man? What's your favorite joint? Oh, uh, man, play number nine, man. We can play cussing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah number nine, man. That's a real song, man. You know what I'm saying? That's a real song. Now, what's the name of number nine? Give it no fucks. Fuck. Give it no fucks, of course. That's my favorite, too. Um, that is Gold All of My Map. Oh, no, Gold All of My Map. It's a Gold All of My Map, but it's so crazy that people like that, because that's just an interlude. Like, I was just... Bullshit. But you did like, a video for it, right? I mean, yeah, because it was the shortest and the cheapest thing to do. Right, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, it right. was like, you know. Right. And I got to have a video. It was my first video, so I was like, okay. Right. Can't do all go everything right now. Right. Just do this. It's short. You right. know what I'm saying? My took care of me. Okay. Or whatever. So, hey, we went with that. But people really like it, though, so it's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? Word. Oh, for real, for real. We're going to get into some Trinidad James. We're going to start the mixtape. Give everybody your website, your Twitter, your Instagram, your shout outs. Do all that before you ride out, homie. Hey, man. Like I said, if you want to get no more about Trinidad James, Twitter and Instagram is the same. Trinidad James GG. The website is TrinidadJamesGG.com. Bandcamp is TrinidadJames.Bandcamp.com. You go to live mixtapes on all there. It, it ain't hard to find. But Google me. First six, seven pages. You're fine. Pay attention, people. That mixtape is out on live mixtapes.com. Shout out to Trinidad James for coming through. You know what it is. 1877-60 Hip Hop. Wednesday night show. Right in the way, the Let's get Cause real niggas gon' stay true It always surprised me That the realest niggas be the fakest man And the underdog be the greatest man I said the underdog be the greatest man I just wish I had a little help Like Marlon Wayans and Six man But I don't see it happening Might drop it